What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to episode 5 of our Bayer Leverkusen Let's Play here in Football Manager 2019 and we start on this screen, yes. I'm very excited, allow me to calm down just a little bit, but yes, Markovic, in my opinion the best player, wonder kid wise, in FM this year, we've picked him up and uh, well thanks to our board, we didn't have any budget, I asked them to go out there and sign him. They negotiated a deal with us uh, for him. £3.5 million for the player from Partizan. The best centre-back in the world uh, in FM terms, in my opinion. Definitely biased. Of course, a player who I featured in my top 10 Wonder Kids video at number one. I'm very excited to get this guy in. He's going to be a great backup centre-back option. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to fit him in the team. But the opportunity to sign him was presented to us. I'm going to take that with open arms every day of the week. Anyway, since you were last here, we have played a number of games. You can see today we're going to be taking on PSV in the Europa League. Uh, in terms of what's been going on in the Europa League, you can see here uh, we are top of the group by three points over PSV. And uh, we are going to be playing them today to decide who gets the number one seed in the group. Of course, if you finish top of the group, you'll always be drawn against a team uh, or nearly always be drawn against the team who finishes second. And in the Europa League, it's kind of important to, you know, finish as well in the group as you can because of, the, of course, the teams who finish third in their Champions League groups uh, also joining the competition. So, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Big game for us. Since we're last here, we've actually played five matches. Last episode, of course, the 3-0 emphatic win against Hoffenheim. And, uh, well, we'll start immediately with the first of the Europa League game since you were last here. It was against Rosenborg, and it was a 3-1 away win. A good little result, this one, particularly after, well, what was a disappointing 0-0 result against Rosenborg previously. Start things off with an own goal. Lucas Alario then picked up a second goal. They pegged us back through Nicholas Bentner. Yes, uh, Lord Bentner uh, getting the goal for us and uh, well for them and then fortunately for us Rasmus Falk with a really good goal a little bit scrappy a little bit lucky but he, he found the bottom corner uh, to secure us the win 3-1 a good little result and well Falk got man of the match and let me tell you now he is looking like an absolute bargain buy of course signed from Copenhagen and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can continue to do here. Anyway, the following game, not so positive, I'm afraid. We took on Leipzig, a team who were very much up there fighting with us at the top of the table. And well, as you can see here, they won 4-1. Arangis opening up the goal scoring in the third minute from the penalty spot. And it remained 1-0 until the 77th minute where we decided to spontaneously combust defensively. And to be honest, we conceded the first goal through Werner. Uh, the second goal, I'm, I don't know what to say about the second goal. You can watch it and make your mind up about it. And from there, it was just a collapse. It was one of those things where as soon as we went 2-1 down, heads dropped. We just stopped playing for the last 10 minutes of the game. And, well, you can't afford to do that. This game should have been a lot closer than it was. But ultimately, the floodgates opened. Leipzig punished us. I want to move on and forget about this game. But at the same time... I don't know, you've got to ask questions over the team's mental fortitude when we collapse as badly as we did here. A really disappointing result. And with this result and one other in the Bundesliga, we are falling just a little bit off the pace. Anyway, the next game we had again in the Bundesliga was against Stuttgart. It was a 3-1 win. A little bit of an experiment this game. Uh, Julian Brandt picked up an injury in this game. A very bad injury, actually. He's torn his calf muscle, if I'm not mistaken. He's out for three months, so... It's another big injury for us to a big player. Of course, Almiron out with a very similar injury earlier on. He will be back before too long uh, with Weiser also out longer term. It does feel like we've got a tad unfortunate with these long-term injuries. But in this game, we did get a good win. Uh, Volland with two goals. Falk with another to his name. Volland did pick up man of the match. All in all, very, very good performance. Nice way to bounce back. Although, um, well, when you see the last of the three Bundesliga games since you were last here, uh, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, I'm afraid. Anyway, the next game was against Malmo, away from home. Not the most convincing results. Uh, we were playing a very strong team for this game. I wanted to try and, you know, win comfortably. Ultimately, it took until the 86th minute with a Leon Bailey goal to get us over the line. They had a man sent off in the meantime. Very much less than convincing. But a win, and we'll take it. Three points on the board, and that, of course, sees us in our current position in the group, three points ahead of PSV. Our most recent game against Augsburg, to be honest, the first game really this season where I feel like we just didn't turn up, and that kind of hurts to say. Um, Augsburg had two shots on target. They scored both of them. I can't really knock them for that. Our performance, though, just bitterly disappointing. We just never showed any real 
threat in this game. You know, I, I don't know quite what to say. It was just a game where we were absent. And unfortunately, you have to turn up to every game throughout a season. And it felt like a game where our players just couldn't get G'd up for it. And ultimately, yeah, Augsburg winning 2-0, thoroughly deserved. So in terms of those results, less than ideal, of course, as I said, that in the five games since you were last here, three of them in the Bundesliga, only three points in those games, sees us now slip down to third in the league. You can see here Leipzig top of the league on goal difference ahead of Bayern. We're still only four points off them, level with Dortmund. A few teams hot on our heels, including, of course, Hoffenheim, who we did beat 3-0 previously. Um, all in all, still okay, you know, we're still aiming for top four this year, that is the primary goal, uh, I'd like to secure top three to be honest, Leipzig though looking very very strong, I always expected Bayern to be good but Leipzig, I mean they've gone from strength to strength and I feel like the win that they got against us really emphasises that, so a little bit of cause for concern there but well, the Bundesliga, not what we're going to focus on right now, instead we're going to focus on the task at hand which is PSV at home. Anyway, there is a little bit of team news. I mentioned the injury to Julian Brandt. We've also got Weisser out injured. Almiron still slowly coming back. You know, it can be a couple of weeks until he's fully fit and raring to go. We have had a few other little injuries which players are still recovering from, which have been a little bit of a pain. Um, but generally speaking, the team's looking pretty good. You know, Bellarabi was out for a couple of weeks. Paulino was out for a little bit, which was not ideal because well, he's one of our best young players. Um, but you can see here, you know, he missed a few games here and there through a few little injuries uh, within the space of the last couple of months. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to bounce back here and get a good performance. We are not that far now off the winter break. I think the last commentary we'll do before then uh, will be the next episode where we'll probably do kind of a look at the first half of the season so far, maybe reflect on things, uh, room for improvement, you know, try and work out exactly what's going on. But really, today, we want to focus on the here and now. We need to improve. We need to beat PSV here. They're not going to be pushovers. They are a good team, uh, the Dutch side. And, well, after some of the form that we've shown as of late, I'm hoping that today is the day where we can really bounce back and show, well, ourselves what we're all about. The team, I didn't really talk about it that much, but um, it's pretty good fitness-wise. We're going to go with this team, which is a little bit rotated still. Um, but while we are in a good position here, of course, a draw would be good enough. Um, the tiebreaker between ourselves and PSV um, would be head-to-head, uh, -head, kind of based off results. We beat them previously 3-1 away from home, so as long as we can better that result here, uh, we should be fine. And while Polino effort comes off the crossbar, um, one of the reasons for playing this rotated side, players like Falk, Bellarabi, uh, Susek um, and co, is just... Uh, a morale thing as much as anything players still a little bit concerned about lack of first team football I've talked about it a little bit throughout the last couple of episodes but rotation has been something I'm kind of wary of you know players like Ko are on the bench I probably need to bring on at half time to keep him happy which isn't ideal but of all the games that we have obviously whilst I do want to finish top of our group it wouldn't be as catastrophic you know to lose this game and slip up here as it would to, well, you know, lose a little bit more ground in the potential title race in the Bundesliga. Anyway, De Jong here, very good player, through on goal, pulls it back. Questionable uh, defending there, but it's Ramzalar with the goal for them. And, well, to start the game, PSV's first shot on goal hits the back of the net. Very, very disappointing. Defensively, we didn't really show up in this, did we? De Jong... Clean through, pulls it back. Acres of space. Who who was number six there? Sven Bender. It looked like he teleported through time and space backwards. I don't know how to feel about that. Maybe maybe PSV, you know, they've got the force on their side or something. It didn't look great, uh, regardless of the defensive positioning. And well, Jedvai going to pick up an injury. Fortunately, we do have Lucas Romero, who is just the ready-made right-back replacement. Hopefully, that's not a serious injury, though, because, of course, we're already without Weisser. Going to be an arm injury. I'm hoping that'll be something where we can just give him protective equipment at worst, but um, not ideal for him to go off injured. Half time, 1 0 PSV. Uh, this result would still be good enough. Uh, well, yeah, it would be good enough technically uh, in terms of we would, of course, still um, finish top of the group on the head to head scoreline because it would be 3 uh, 2. Of course, we did score three away goals against PSV. So if they want to leapfrog us here, they do need three goals, if I'm not mistaken. So it would take a monumental collapse here for us to lose our ground. But 
Regardless, we want to make sure of things here. And well, that is better. Sven Bender, first goal of the season for him. I'm going to take off Lars Bender here for Dominic Coe, uh, who has been complaining about the lack of first-team football. You know, give him the best part of the second half here. A good 40 minutes for him to stretch his legs and hopefully, um, you know, settle in and be a little bit happy with the game time he's getting. It is kind of an ongoing battle, and I do worry a little bit with Markovic joining us at centre-back, the fact that Koa, who I have been training to play centre-back, might even kind of lose that kind of wild-card status as a potential centre-back option when we need him to be. As a, well, Volland hits the crossbar, that was a great opportunity for another. But yeah, Koa, a player who I would like to keep at the club, ideally, even if it meant maybe sacrificing someone like uh, Lars Bender, uh, in order to you know keep him happy, it might be worth it long term just because Bender is kind of 29 going on 30. And Ramsell, oh, I mean, that was almost a good goal, wasn't it? Went flying over the crossbar in the end. But um, well, 1 1 here, that's Sven Bender goal, first goal of the season for him. Not too bad from the set piece. Need to try and build on that if we can. 20 minutes here. I only have one sub left. I kind of want to hold on to it for as long as I can. In terms of the options that we have, we've got Havertz, Bailey and Alario, all whom we could bring on. But well, let's stick with what we've got right now. We've scored one set piece. Can we do something from this corner? The initial ball by Vendel, not ideal, but can he put in a better ball of quality at the second time of asking? Paulino near post, Volland, Volk, and well, you would have put your house on him to score. He has been getting a lot of goals, the Great Dane, in centre attacking mid. Unfortunately there, skewed his effort wide of the mark. And well... PSV now trying to bring the ball forward. Can we look a little bit more solid defensively? The goal scorer Sven Bender mopping up play. And now, can we build from deep? Falk to Volland. Got some options on his right. Gets dispossessed. Don't get sent off whatever you do, Volland. You're on a yellow card. I mean, that. I was about to say, that will do. That will do, Volland. It, it did do until the finish. Nice pressing, trying to force the mistake out of PSV, but the uh, effort at the end of it skewed wider the mark. You'd have to say... I should be pretty happy with this game. Two clear-cut chances, five half chances. We have been the better team. Unfortunately, that just doesn't show on the scoreline. I do feel like we've shown a lack of a clinical edge here. Maybe missing the likes of Bailey in the team. You know, uh, players who definitely have a good finish in them. But, well, maybe Volan can redeem himself here. Or maybe he's just going to give it straight to Zoet. Let's make the last change. I'm actually going to take off Volan because he's been very, very disappointing with some of the chances that have fallen his way. We'll give Alario the game time. Maybe he can make something happen in what remains of this game. Lucas Romero. Options in the middle. Whips it in. Susek nods it down to Falk, who hits the woodwork again. We have hit the woodwork two times here. We've had three clear-cut chances, six half chances. Is it fully cleared? I mean, how are PSV still in this game? We have lacked at times that killer edge to really, you know, win a game like this and just... Bowl teams over. I mean, Vendel, last kick of the game, potentially the free kick, saved by Zoa again. PSV earn a point. I mean, it's hard to criticise us too much, but ultimately, the lack of goals is just a little bit concerning. You know, we've created the chances. It's just a lack of quality at the end, ultimately, which has cost us dear there uh, in that 1-1 draw. Vendel picking up the Man of the Match award. But... um. Yeah, not ideal. Jedvi, it is going to be a injury. We actually have a lot of options here for what we want to do. We could make him play through the injury. Uh, I kind of need to play him through the injury. See, the difference between four to five weeks and five to six weeks, I don't think is actually going to matter because of the winter break. So we will put the protective equipment on so that you can play the remaining games until that winter break, which, as I mentioned, isn't that far away now. You can see between now and the winter break, we've got games against Frankfurt, Schalke and Hertha Berlin. I think we'll be back next time for the game against Hertha. Um, what we'll do is we'll actually have more of a look at kind of, you know, stats in the league, the team as a whole, maybe some plans for January. A bit more of an overall reflection on how I'm feeling about the team um, after the initial, well, six-month period we've had here. But not a bad result there. We're going to finish top of our Europa League group, which is kind of what we expected to do. Going unbeaten is kind of nice too, and, well, hopefully we can continue, obviously, into the knockout stages where, if I'm not mistaken, expectations are kind of high, and um, we are hopefully going to be pushing for... Was it just the knockout round? Quarterfinal, so that's not easy. But um, we're on course for it at the moment. Hopefully we can keep that going. And of course in the Bundesliga, Champions League football, the aim, a top four finish. Right now in third, 
it's looking okay, isn't it? Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up all from me today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please do leave a like on the video. I'll see you next time for a kind of six-month retrospective kind of episode looking back on how things have been going so far. Hopefully I'll see you guys for that. And, uh, well, other than that, it is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out. <laughs>